is back, and the hunt continues as High Voltage Software proudly presents the sequel to White Wolf's haunting pen and paper game, Hunter the Reckoning, to the console world. With entirely new gameplay and characters, Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer delivers non-stop action and horror exclusively to Xbox. And now, we continue our journey into the world of darkness and take you behind the scenes for part two of the making of Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer. The storyline for Redeemer finds us back in Ashcroft during the holiday season. But one of the key elements is the fact that Kaylee, who is the little helpless girl in version one, has now grown up and become a hunter herself. So she's once again faced down by evil in the town that she uh, faced her first uh, horrible experience with monstrosities in. Well, I think Redeemer has a lot to get excited about. It has all the action of the first hunter. It has uh, a new character. We have two secret unlockable characters, fully playable. We have a large assortment of playable monsters, which I think would be cool and we're adding new weapons. We have a whole new storyline. Our levels are probably you know, five times the size of the original level, so we have much more gameplay, new missions. We have, uh, we have a lot to offer. After we shipped version one, we paid a lot of attention to what gamers had to say about the product. There's been a lot of improvements made based off of that. Camera improvements, new attack sequences for all the hunters, some terrific new monsters. In Hunter Redeemer, instead of using the old advancement system that we had in the first game, we've decided to go with a more intuitive version, where as the player uses abilities, if they use range, they'll advance in range. If they use melee a lot, like their axe and like to hit things, they'll advance in melee. And if they use their edges, they're getting their new edges faster in that way. And this way, there's no pausing to go to another screen and like placing points. It's all based on how you perform. There's going to be a lot of combo moves. In fact, um, there's going to be certain combo moves that can't be accessed unless you trigger uh, preceding combo moves. So you can get a chain going and basically pull off these incredible combos uh, that you weren't able to in the first game. You should be really excited about the new weather effects in the game. We're making use of particle effects. We're going to be having some kind of physics simulation like uh, wind, snow, fog, uh, puddles in the levels. You're really going to feel more like you're in the game. The game, the actual level is going to feel less static, more kind of dynamic, you're walking around, you can actually feel like you're there. Well, we're adding um, extra content into our game to allow flashlight levels. Uh, basically the levels we set up to allow the characters to wear flashlights. Basically it's going to make it really intense, you can be, especially play the game at night, turn the volume up on your own, you'll be playing the game, walking around dark corridors, just scare the crap out of you. The replayability in Hunter Redeemer is huge. What you can do now is you can play through the entire game with the character, really develop them throughout the game, and once you've beaten the game, you have all of their stats still preserved, so you can play through again, now as, let's say you're a deuce, now you're a deuce on steroids, you've got everything you could possibly need in terms of strength and power and conviction, and you're even able to go to a buddy's house with this bolstered character, pop your memory card into their system, and keep playing so that your experience can be taken with you anywhere you need to go.